is microdosing every day uh, a good DRT protocol or is uh, doing it two or three times a week just as well? So when we say, is it a good protocol, what we need to, I suppose, think about is, is that achieving symptom resolution for our patients? So uh, you can, you, you know, if you want to measure it as an arbitrary number, oh, it keeps my total and my free T within this range, you need to marry that up with how that makes your patient feel. So, you know, if you're, um, ex for example, um, using everyday uh, subcutaneous injections of a, of a medium chain ester like testosterone cypionate or an anthate, um, and that's working well for your patient and they feel like their symptoms are alleviated and they are um, staying with, you know, outside of super physiological ranges, um, then, then yeah, go for it. But if equally, if you've got a guy that responds better to either the, uh, every other day injections or even Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then, you, you know, there's an argument to be made that, that TRT is about uh, alleviating, not just about thinking about numbers, but alleviating negative qualitative symptoms. And that's, that's something I think that gets forgotten a little bit because we, you see a lot of clinicians focusing on, oh, it, it needs to be in this range of numbers. Um, and uh, and we, we just need to concentrate on that. And we need to uh, make sure that our SHBG is this and not falling or rising too high. Um, and then they, they get obsessed with that. But they're, what they're failing there is their patient, their, their they're basically saying, uh, oh, it doesn't matter about how you feel. When actually the whole reason you, uh, you came to get TRT in the first place, the first thing you notice is you didn't feel good. So I think, you know, it, it, it's very patient dependent. So you, uh, I'm very open to seeing how guys go um, because it's quite a, it's a mental burden, I think, when you've never injected yourself before, even with a 29 gauge insulin pin to inject yourself every day. And, uh, you know, thinking about it as, uh, you know, three times a week is, is a lot, uh, from, a, from a cognitive point of view, a lot less of a burden to you when you've never injected yourself before. And it may be that you respond very well to that. And you might like the uh, sort of temporary peaks and troughs that you get from having a, a three times per week injection protocol. Um, now, on that note, like, I suppose you, you can't mention that without talking about um, hormonal stability. And that's, a, that's an interesting one. And I go into it in the videos which are coming out soon on our channel um, uh, uh, at Healing Clinic on YouTube. Um, and I've done, I've used a, a calculator to show the pharmacokinetic profiles of these different esters of testosterone and how they peak and trough. Now, when we think about natural guys who, who have normally healthy levels of testosterone, we see that diurnal variance, don't we? We have a bit of a spike in the morning when we wake up and then we have these little mini peaks and troughs as we go throughout the day. Towards the evening, we start to go down a little bit. And, you know, the working theory of that, if you look at the data, is that as our testosterone levels start to decline in the evening, that's setting us up for rest and repair when we go to sleep and, and our cortisol levels should follow. Um, although there's an argument to be made in this day and age, we're constantly stressed. So we're constantly having high cortisol regardless of what our testosterone is doing. But that's a whole other debate. Um, but theoretically, that's what we should try and mimic, shouldn't we? So a lot of people jump on this sort of to doing the microdosing every day because it very closely mimics that diurnal variation. Um, what it doesn't do is give us that spike in the morning. Like it's because it, once you're stable on daily injections of a medium chain ester like cypionate or an anthate, you just have this constant line. Like, and, that, and this is demonstrated in the graphs that I've done. Um, so, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll share links with the community about that when I've uh, published those. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. So in terms of what is the best or is it good? Um, you know, that has to be, again be about what your patient is feeling. So does your does your patient feel good on daily injections? Um, do they prefer a little bit of a boost uh, having a, a, you know, a two day break in between? Because they might, um, you know, is there you know room for looking at mixed uh, proprietary blends? I, I spoke with a very interesting doctor in the States back in uh, July who utilizes um, a, a mixture of doing every other day injections, but changing between cypionate and propionate. Um, I've yet to plumb that into the, the calculator that I was using, but it would be very interesting to see if that more accurately mimics our, um, our natural diurnal rhythm of testosterone synthesis. But yeah, in terms of is it good? It can be, um, but there are also other ways to do it. You, you know, you don't even have to inject, like there are some very good uh, cream protocols. You've got 
really good things like VersaBase creams now that um, can be either um, you know prepared on inner thigh or um, inner arm, even transquotally. Um, interestingly, but another bit of trub, uh, pub trivia. Back in the early 1980s, one of the first preparations of TRT was transcrotal adhesant, uh, adherent patches. Now, obviously, <laughs> that, that had lots of ramifications for comfort with guys because it meant that you had to be uh, shaved on your scrotum at all times unless you wanted to be in a lot of pain changing your patch because it mm -hmm. was an adhesive patch. So, um, But it saw very good results and it fell out of favour because of how uncomfortable it was. But it's it, it's funny how I think things go full circle. We're looking more at sort of transcrotal creams nowadays that provide the, uh, a very good symptom alleviation uh, whilst ensuring uh, appropriate levels for people. Leave a like and comment under this video and check out my new ebook, Acne on TRT.